Good afternoon, Bleed Big Blue Nation. This is Jay Zach, the intern from the podcast, here to make a video again today, you guys. So, you guys know in the past I've talked about Saquon Barkley and how I want the Giants to grab him at two. And a lot of you guys agree with me, and that is awesome. That's awesome to see this other Giants fans out there who, you know, think alike like with me. But, let's face it, guys. Pat Shermer's not grabbing a running back at number two. It's not happening. We're not getting a running back at number two. Maybe if we had the number four, five, maybe even the six pick, maybe we'd grab Saquon Barkley. But I've come to the realization it's not happening, Giants fans. Now that we got that out of the way, let's move on. I had some questions like, well, Jay Zach, you know, if the Giants can't grab Saquon Barkley, who should we grab? I've got the answer for you, my boys. I've got the answer for you, Giants fans. At first, I was kind of on Josh Rosen. Now, I have the bad habit of when it comes to looking at prospects and talent, I have the bad habit of looking into what kind of person they are in real life. And then whether I like that or not, I usually let it affect my judgment. And I guess you could say for my opinion on who I want the Giants to draft, I guess you could say I'm influenced by my, you know, uh, how much I like somebody's personality, but I have the argument to back it up, okay? Here's my thing, guys. Who I want is Sam Darnold. I know that comes as a shock. A lot of people are Josh Rosen this, Josh Rosen that. Josh Rosen is a little overrated. And I'm not talking about his talent. I'm talking about his worth. And I know that you say that goes hand in hand, but it doesn't, Giants fans. I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Well, first, first, let me get on to this, okay? Everybody likes to talk about, well, Sam Darnold has bad decision-making and he's got turnovers. Let me read you something here, Giants fans. Let me read you something, okay? Sam Darnold, 14 games, 13 interceptions, 12 fumbles. That's not awesome, all right? I'm not saying that's impressive. It's not. Rosen, 11 games, 10 interceptions, 8 fumbles. What's the difference? Darnold played three other games, okay? And two of them were conference opponents, Ohio State, Notre Dame. He's also doing this with a really beat-up offensive line, okay? And I know Josh Rosen's offensive line isn't the greatest either. I'm not saying it is, okay? What I'm saying is they're not that different. If you're going to hawk Darnold, Darnold with, the, with the turnovers, I better hear you saying it to Rosen as well. I better hear it, okay? And now the second thing you can say about Darnold, well, the guy's mechanics are kind of out of whack. Okay, yeah. So what? So what? Nobody's asking Sam Darnold to come in and start now. We're asking him to come in, learn after one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever do it. Okay, learn under one of them. Learn under Pat Shermer, who made Case Keenum a playoff quarterback. Okay. Somebody who made Sam Bradford look pretty good. Okay. Pat Shermer can... My boy can work with some quarterbacks, you guys. That's why I don't understand why everybody's losing their mind about Pat Shermer. The guy can work with quarterbacks. Look what he did that at Vikings offense. Okay. So, yeah, we can fix those mechanics, guys. That only takes, what, a year? The guy's got two. Even still, he's doing fine with the negative mechanics, okay? Another thing about, like, about Sam Darnold, guys, the guy comes from a rough background. The guy knows how to work. The guy knows how to work. He's got one hell of a work ethic, you guys. His dad's like a plumber or something like that, I think is what it was. Don't quote me. But he has not one of those super awesome jobs. The guy had to work for where he came. Okay, he's got a great attitude. The guy played linebacker in high school. He likes to hit. He likes to get hit. I don't think he likes to get hit, but he doesn't mind it. The guy likes the contact part of the sport. The guy's got a great attitude. Does that remind you guys of somebody? Anybody in the NFL? Anybody know a great quarterback with extreme potential who is also enjoys just the physical nature of the game? Well, if you don't remember, his name's Andrew Luck. Somebody I personally consider to have the have the talent, okay, the talent, don't kill me Giants fans or anybody, the talent to be the best quarterback to ever play the game. Plus, he's got that gameplay mentality, guys. The guy can sling. He likes to sling. Darnold's the kind of quarterback that he's probably going to play better in the fourth quarter than he did in all the other quarters. The guy knows how to extend plays. Think about Josh Rosen, guys. First off, I don't like Dwayne, I don't really like his personality. The guy had a hot tub in his in his dorm room in his freshman year. Get get out of here. Come on. I don't want to. Come on. Whatever. That's not the point, though, guys. Josh Rosen is too fragile. He's a boy. He's a little boy, guys. 
I like Josh Rosen, a lot of talent. The guy had two concussions in the time span of four weeks. Why is nobody else losing their mind about that? If he gets one or two more concussions, he might not be able to play ever. Like, ever. Do y'all really want that? Do y'all really want to draft Josh Rosen, have him play behind Eric Flowers? Get hit once or twice, break something, get another concussion, and be like, yeah, you know what? Mm, maybe not. The guy can't get hit. He can't take a hit. Okay? The guy's going to get scarred behind our pocket. Sam Darnold can do something with our pocket. The guy can extend plays. You get a quarterback that can extend plays and you give Odell Beckham Jr. more time than he already needs? Are you insane? Can you guys not see the, the amazing combos that can be made with Sam Darnold, with Odell Beckham Jr., with Evan Ingram? We don't need Josh Rosen, guys. And I'm making this video because I'm terrified. I'm terrified, Giants fans. I'm terrified that Pat Shermer and his connections to UCLA is gonna grab the toothpick Josh Rosen. I'm terrified for our future. I'm terrified Josh Rosen is going to be our quarterback, sit behind that offensive line, get hit once or once or twice, get patty whacked, and he's just going to quit the game, or he's going to get hurt and never be able to play again. Sam Darnold can take a hit. The guy can move. The guy takes risky plays. That's something we need, guys. Eli Manning, as much as I love the guy, he's not that risky of a quarterback. He's more of a just makes a mistake. Eli doesn't make risky plays. Sometimes those work out. Sam Darnold's the kind of guy who can make those plays happen. I'm not saying Eli can't. Nobody jump on me here. That's my two cents on that, Giants fans. You guys let me know what you think. If you think I'm wrong, tell me why you think I'm wrong in the comment section. I promise I'll reply back. Or if you just want to have a communication, just have a, have a chat, hit me up. Just make sure to follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. You guys keep, you know, y'all keep bleeding blue, all right? Hang in there, you guys. I'll see y'all next time.